In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the texture pack used in many Minecraft trailers. The download can be found in the description down below and without further ado, let's get started in today's awesome video. So if you watch any Minecraft trailer, then you are probably familiar with this texture pack right over here. It is called the Bare Bones Texture Pack and we're going to be taking a look at it in today's video and it is basically meant to simplify your world and it actually does take up quite a bit of storage, 32 megabytes. So anyways, here we are in a regular vanilla Minecraft world. So one thing you'll notice that it literally looks exactly like the trailers. It's very vibrant and simple and all that. And obviously in the trailers, they usually add some type of shader to it or something like that. But we are able to get some pretty decent and simple looking textures right over here and um, as you can tell the leaves are just made to be way more simpler you know what I mean um, there's not really any type of detail or anything like that you will also notice that the water itself is very clear there's no like water particles or like water and pattern or anything like that and here's how the underwater looks like it is literally almost transparent so that's honestly really cool but anyways guys you are probably most familiar with this um, texture pack in the 1.16 update and a little bit of the 1.17 update but I know for a fact in one of the trailers they go in the nether so anyways we're going to be going to the nether right over here and as you can tell all the textures are just made to be much more simpler but let's go to the nether boys here we have our nether portal and let's go inside right over here you'll also notice that we actually do get a completely different UI as well for example it says minecraft bare bones instead of just minecraft which is honestly pretty cool in my opinion anyways guys here we are in the nether right over here and as you can tell everything looks way more simpler and arguably way more better with this texture pack over here it definitely does give me a lot of minecraft trailer vibes which is honestly pretty cool and uh, anyways take a look at the uh, warped um you know biome over here as you can tell it is made to be much more simpler and i really do like that i can truly appreciate that and anyways guys here is the lava the lava is also made to be way more simpler same with the netherrack and over here we have the quartz block as well which is definitely another major plus all right, boys, I'm now going to be going to the end with this texture pack over here. And you probably already know the bare bones texture pack, you know, that was in the end. And of course, the uh, end update, the earlier end update, obviously, like I hope there's a new end update, but there was actually an actual like legit end update a couple years ago. And I'm pretty sure they use this texture pack. But anyways, guys, this is really cool. As you can tell, the end looks way more simpler. And here's a hack to kill the ender dragon fast. Just do that. And then bam, it's going to kill the dragon and as you can tell all the textures are made to be much more simpler we have the dragon dead over there and if you actually go near the end stone you'll notice that it is made to be much more simpler and i truly do like that you know what i mean it definitely adds a lot to the game but anyways guys we're now going to see a end city all right, boys, we found an end city right over here. And as you can tell, it looks way more vibrant and it honestly looks super duper amazing with this amazing bare bones texture pack over here. And it is honestly like one of the most popular texture packs out there thanks to the Minecraft trailers. But as you can tell, all the textures are made to be much more simpler, especially in the end over here. And of course, even the end stone bricks and all that cool stuff as well. And I just really love using this texture pack. You know, this texture pack definitely adds a lot and I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with it. So if you want to capture a more authentic minecraft trailer experience then definitely consider downloading this texture pack right over here to make this look more like the minecraft trailers we need to add some shaders so let's go ahead and do that all right boys we are back in the game right over here and we just added the bicubic shaders which can be found in the description down below along with the bare bones texture pack as well and as you can tell it is basically identical to the minecraft trailer so it's really cool how we are able to kind of like mimic the minecraft trailers in a way thanks to this amazing combination of a shader and of course the bare bones texture pack which is used most commonly in minecraft trailers so this is honestly really cool it looks super duper amazing as you can tell the water is completely transformed and all that and obviously if we go underwater things look way more beautiful as you can tell we even have a distortion effect as well and it definitely adds a lot to the bare bones texture and as you can tell it literally looks like something you would see from a minecraft trailer and i know minecraft trailers always get criticism for like being a little bit like misleading and how they're not as cool as the actual update you know what i mean but hopefully with this combination of texture packs it does make you know minecraft feel more cool to you and more like the trailers and look at that look at that just take a look at that sunset it looks really cool and once again i'm just in love with the simplicity of this texture pack over here all right boys here's how some of the other textures do look like with this texture pack on over here as you can tell the swords are made to be much more simpler and the food items are also made to be simpler as well next up we got the tools we also have the diamond armor which is made to be incredibly simple 
but we also have the lava and the water over there. And um, if we go over here, you'll notice that we have a bunch of ores here, the diamond ore, the emerald, the gold, the lapis, the redstone over there looking absolutely amazing. And here is the nature section. It looks absolutely phenomenal. So I really do love this combination of the texture pack and a shader. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Remember, the downloads to both these packs can be found in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, french fries.